So good afternoon from the Thor Park Resort. It's my first visit of 2021 season. I'm joined by Oscar today. Hello. And we've booked the time tickets for Darren Brown's Ghost Train, of course. I'll explain them to you now. So you've got to scan the QR code on your phone and then book a slot. And it's, you, you don't, you're, you aren't guaranteed um, that you are going to get a slot on Darren Brown's Ghost Train or Black Mirror Labyrinth, of course, the brand new ride for 2021 here at Thor Park. You aren't guaranteed any slots for them, so it's just based on a first come, first serve sort of basis. We got Darren Brown, we were too late for Black Mirror Labyrinth, so I'm, I'm absolutely gutted because that's sort of the reason I came here for. But nonetheless, I can't wait to get on Darren Brown's Ghost Train. I haven't been on that for about a year now. Oscar's never done it, and I'll tell you what he hasn't done. He's never done the Walking Dead before. This is a fantastic roller coaster. And I think it's definitely underrated. It's, it's just a great ride. We'll head on now. I'll give my review when we come off. But yeah, I'm gutted that we can't get on Black Mirror Labyrinth. Uh, but nonetheless, I'm sure we'll give you. This will be a jam-packed vlog for you and Oscar. So we'll head on Walking Dead the ride. Walking Dead the Ride, which of course is an indoor roller coaster, so I haven't got any footage for you because you can't film on ride at Port Park. Oscar's never been on it before, so how is it, Oscar? Um, it was quite scary. I'd give it about 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10, yeah. Of course, that used to be called X No Way Out, and I, I love it. it. I think it gets a lot of hate, but for what it is, it's really good, of course. There's lots of sections where you actually feel scared, and even in the queue line, like you run through. And of course, we have got fast tracks today, but if you're wondering, it's 50 minutes. And if you know me, I'm not a bit the biggest fan of fast tracks. We've had these fast tracks since 2019, uh, when we queued for a um, scare maze, and then it broke down, and then they were giving out free fast tracks, and, and then they renewed them for the 2021 season. So that's why we haven't got fast tracks. We normally don't get fast tracks because they are quite expensive. But Walking Dead the ride is really, really good, and I think it has a very bright future. Here at uh, Thought Park Resort. Well. Yeah, it's really, really good. The trains in there, they're running about two trains, I think, on there that I counted. Yeah. And lap restraints, so it's very freedom on there. And yes, yeah, all in all, a great ride. And you should definitely go and check it out. But next, I think we're going to head to the Beast Nemesis Inferno. Not as good as Nemesis. So we've decided to ditch Nemesis Inferno, as it is quite a long queue for fast track. But nonetheless, we come to a much better coaster, in my opinion, Stealth, which launches you at, at 80 miles per hour in 2.3 seconds, which is very fast and personally the best ride here at Thor Park. Yeah. And which one's more Rita or Stealth? And which one do you prefer? Yeah, well that is the question, that is the quiz for this video. Go and, um, go and let us know in the comment section down below. But we're heading to Stealth. behind me, manufactured by Intamin, and of course open in the year 2006, if you see my t-shirt. I've had it for about two years, it's starting to clear off. But anyway, how did you find that, Oscar? Um, yeah, it was quite a time when we went to Spanish. I know, it is really, really fast, and of course, um, Stealth is a really, really good roller coaster. Much better than Rita, in my opinion. Personally, I much prefer it than Rita. So much faster. Of course, you've got the big top hat that it goes over. And honestly, your legs actually ache when you come off. And it, it's really, really weird. But of course, it's really, really fun. It's a 70 minute queue for that. So it, that is quite long for Stealth. But of course, we have got Fast Track. The Fast Track queue is about 20 minutes, maybe. Maybe a bit longer. Not too sure. But we're going to head to Storm Surge next. Of course, you need three people at least in the boats to um, go on Storm Surge. It's a really, really good rapid ride. It doesn't get you too wet, does it? No, not a bit. But it's really, really good um, ride to do. If you're in like a group, it's really fun. And you've got sprinklers. And it's the perfect day to do it. I tell you, I'm absolutely boiling. It's the weekend that's meant to be the hottest weekend. But yeah, um, we'll head to Storm Surge. We've 
just been on Tidal Wave. How is it, Oscar? Um, good, but we got drenched. Absolutely soaked. So, of course, on there, it's a massive, massive wave, and, it, and don't go on there expecting that you're not going to get wet because you get soaked. Like, literally, my jumper, my stealth t shirt, and my shorts are absolutely soaked. However, it's lovely weather today. The sun's shining. We're probably going to get dry in a few hours, so that's not too bad. Um, we just had a cookies and cream ice cream sandwich thing. Well, I have. Oscar didn't, don't really like them, but I had one and they're really, really nice. Of course, they're not too much money, so you should definitely go and check them out. It's in the old nitrogen building and they were very, very yummy. And as you can see behind me, if you've watched the Fright Nights uh, vlogs, then this is where the maze was, the maze queue line here, uh, which is normal, normally Jungle, ex Jungle Escape, which is an escape room here at Fort Park. Um, but that's not operating due to COVID, of course, it's not Fright Nights, so the Fright Nights maze is not operating either. We're going to head to Saw, use our fast tracks, and we'll head on Saw the ride. Now I'm standing outside Samurai, which is at the moment closed and all um, sort of barricaded off. And then if we zoom into Samurai, we've got the genie lift there. That looks like a nice one. Um, but yeah, if we zoom into Samurai there, we see some scaffolding and it's the future is not looking good. I mean, um, the whole middle section sort of thing has been removed, I think. And there's a lot of scaffolding around the ride and the future does not look good for Samurai at all. I mean, I think it will reopen at Fort Park, but not anytime soon. I mean, it just doesn't look great at all. I mean, yeah, it's the season and it's still not working. But of course, maintenance has to take place um, here at Thorpe Park. Small. We're going to head to Black Mirror Labyrinth. We haven't got any tickets for this one. We thought we might as well check it out, see what it's all about. But yeah, Slammer is still standing and I can just hear the Black Mirror Labyrinth music and it sounds really good. I'm not too sure who it's composed by. Maybe I'm a score, don't quote me on it. But I'll tell you what, Black Mirror looks really, really good. The entrance to it as well. So we're going to check it out. Oh, my God. 
2021 and I'll let Oscar explain his opinion and how the attraction sort of works and I'll explain my reviews in just a few minutes. So first I'll give it a 9 out of 10. It was very very good. So first you walk in and they take a picture of you then you have to write your first name. If it's over 10 letters long you're gonna have to make it shorter sadly. So first you walk in and you go in these spots then there's an artificial AI who's very smart um, and, they, and they tell you how they learn about humans, cats and dogs and they know all about you, like your Facebook, Wikipedia, whatever. They know what you've seen, what you've watched. Then you walk in, then you know they turn to evil. That, so they've got your faces and they like, they, they're trying to delete you. Then you go in a maze and it's all confusing and everything. It is a really, really high technology attraction. And overall, it's really, really good. Of course, I would like a new roller coaster at Fort Park. It's been nine years since I had a new one, but that's really high technology. I mean, your faces, your faces like go on the wall and it's all 3D. And like the effects, you've got loads of wind and like everything, everything's in there, all technology. I mean, really, it's just a really pimped up sort of fair funhouse maze. But it's so much more than that. Like the window shatter and everything. It's just really, really good. Of course, you've got to get your time tickets for that. If you scan your QR code at the front of the attraction, then you can uh, sort of click the link and then it will take you to where you can book it. Uh, but they do go out really fast. You need to get yourself down in Sport Park as early as possible. So you can scan the QR code, of course, for Darren Brown's Ghost Train and the Black Mirror Labyrinth because they do go out really, really quickly. But overall, how would you rate it out of 10, Oscar? Um, 9 out of 10. Um I could up it, but the only thing is maybe they could, because we kept banging into each other, so maybe we could do something about that with other people. Yeah, maybe if we could um, sort of 
I don't know, maybe split the groups up a little bit more um, because we were banging in other groups and of course with COVID and the masks and everything it is quite not very really social distance but overall it's a really really good a really 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 good attraction you should definitely come check it out if you haven't done it it's at Fort Park Resort and yeah um, we'll head to Nemesis Inferno or the Swarm next um, which of course I'm really excited for that, that because I haven't been on Swarms since 2021 season of course um, the Swarm is a wing coaster. I'm so, so excited. One of the best rides here at Fort Park, isn't it? Definitely. The Black Mirror Labyrinth, come check it out. And the Slammer is still standing, RIP Slammer. But yeah, we'll go on to the Swarm. There we go, Oscar needs a cool down. He's got his uh, very cool bottle, not a sponsored video, but it is uh, O2 Cool Mist and Sip. So you can have a drink. Oh, sorry, it's getting a bit wet there. You can have a drink. There we go. But you can also spray it. So Oscar gives us a demonstration now. You can also spray it. So it's very refreshing <laughs> on a day like this today at Fort Park. Yeah. So we've just been on Nemesis Inferno. How was it, Oscar? It was very good, it was very smooth. I a bit worse than I thought, but it was actually very good. And, and I think it might be better than Nemesis. Oh, uh, uh, do you know which one? Which one do you think? I think I, I like Nemesis fun and more. We've lost another member. We've lost another. We've lost. We've lost another member. And we lost another member of the Nemesis gang. Can't believe it. Nemesis, in my opinion, that is smooth. Smoother than Nemesis, I will admit. But Nemesis is just the way it interacts with the terrain and the theming of the alien and the egg and stuff. I think I think it's just way better than Nemesis Inferno. But we've lost another member, which is upsetting as always. Can't believe it. When we came here, you were just like Nemesis, Nemesis always. And I like you just all of a sudden changed. Can't believe it. I think I'll always be Nemesis, but you never know. Nemesis Inferno could change in a few years and it could become better. But anyway, we're gonna head to Swarm and then it's basically closing time after that because the book for Darren Brown's ghost train at 6.30. Okay. Um, to do that and we'll get Oscar Sports. First time ever on that. Yeah, we'll head on Swarm. Don't worry, this is your stop. Rise of the Demon on Darren Brown's Ghost Train, only at Fort Park Resort. So we've just been on the Swarm and Darren Brown's Ghost Train. How's the Swarm, Oscar? Um, it's good, it's what I expected. Very good, um, smooth, yeah. Lots of loops. Yeah, it's definitely my, one of my favourites. Just under stealth, this one. It's the only wing coaster in the UK. And I'll tell you what, the theme is brilliant. I'm heading back in to get some off-ride shots for you guys. Um, but yeah, the theme is absolutely fantastic, isn't it? We've got an upside down ambulance and there's loads of smoke actually on. Um, when we get here, I'll show you some of the smoke on the plane, which is just behind us. And normally there's no smoke on it. So it's a miracle that it's on because, and there's even some smoke on the um, helicopter thing. Um, so look, if you just look behind me there, we've got some smoke on there, which is very unusual for there to be smoke on the swarm. Anyway, how was Darren Brown's ghost train? Of course, I haven't been on this in a year. How was Darren Brown's ghost train? It was train? very cool, and it must have been quite a lot of money. It's all them VR headsets. I'd say it was 9 out of 10. Very cool, and I didn't know that was going to happen. It was very good. Of course, it was Oscar's first time on Darren Brown's ghost train. Personally, 
I think the the height of the sort of them round ghost train was 2019 when they had actors in there. People would touch you on the legs and the uh, all parts of your body that would match to the VR headset. I mean, it's, it's really, really good. How do you rate out of five? Um, four. No, four point five. Yeah, I think it was good. Were you a bit scared? Or? Yeah, I was quite a little bit. What was the scariest part, do you think? Um, I think it's where, you know... Spoilers are coming up. Do you know the dog, the zombie dog? They oh, were yeah. like, oh. oh yeah, that was quite scary. Of course, I've been on it many times, so I sort of know what's coming up. Anyway, we've got the swarm going behind us. Um, but yeah, definitely check out Dan Brown's Ghost Train, but um, I think it has gone sort of down in the years, because they used to be actors and chasing you, but still, nonetheless, it was a brilliant ride on Dan Brown's Ghost Train, and yeah, we'll head out of the park, wrap up the vlog, and we even might play Hooker Duck. So in the pizza and pasta restaurant, how's that Oscar? the Thought Park Resort, which was an absolutely fantastic day. How was your day, Oscar? Um, good. Um, we went to like one of the games, like Hooker Duck, and it's kind of a scam. So there's mil so there's millions of ones. Then there's like one of like twenty to twos, and yeah, it's kind of a scam. But I met a friend, Mr. Meerkat, he can do backflips as well. Yeah, and look, slash, he likes it. Got my slush puppy down there. But yeah, it was a really, really good day. Highlight of my visit, definitely Black Mirror Labyrinth. It was really, really good. Um, Devin Brown's Ghost Train was all right. Walking Dead, I think. I don't know, I just haven't been on an indoor ride for ages and it was great getting back on. Um, it was great getting back on Walking Dead the ride. If you did enjoy the video, consider subscribing as I make theme park content every week for you to enjoy. And with all that said and done, thank you for watching Theme Park Enthusiast and it's a goodbye from the Thought Park Resort. Bye now. Keen to scream? Get ready to let it out. <laughs> Awaken the awesome only at Thought Park Resort, an island like no other.